filmed a video and then just edited on Sony Vegas. We find 16-year-old Amos Yee right back at it in his bedroom editing the irreverent, searingly critical blog posts he's known for. Whoa, 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 don't talk bad about your government. Ah. In July, Amos was released from prison after 53 days, having been convicted on charges of obscenity and wounding of religious feelings. The evidence? Finally. A video wow, rant from this precocious yeah, teenager guys, rallying against his government's you. lack of free speech and its most revered leader. Everyone is scared. Everyone is afraid that if they say something like that, they might get into trouble, which, give Lee Kuan Yew credit, that was primarily the impact of his legacy. The video ridicules Singapore's founding father, Lee Kuan Yew, who died in March, calling him a dictator, comparing him to Jesus Christ, and creating vulgar and insulting images of him. I think I had a sense that I would get into some kind of trouble, but obviously I thought it was worth it because I thought, I think the quality of content, yeah, was enough for me to be able to take that risk. And a risk it was. He spent weeks in detention and claims he was strapped to a bed for long periods of time, distraught, fearful, and being put through psychological evaluations, he says, were demeaning. But in an interview in July with Time magazine, Singapore's Prime Minister Lee Sen Long defended Amos's conviction, saying one internet post injudiciously can overnight cause a humongous row, adding, we have to take this seriously. But human rights groups claim Singapore has a dismal record on freedom of speech, and some believe taking the actions of a rebellious 16-year-old so seriously has backfired for the government. It is perfectly normal for young people to write critical articles. And I think we should treat Amos Yee as a normal 16-year-old person. And let's see what happens when he grows up. But don't count on anything changing when he does. But are you afraid of being arrested again? Am I afraid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I prefer out, like outside, of course. You know, I feel like I'm, I'm the one who actually is supposed to break that boundary, you know, so that other people will be able to talk about things in an honest way and discuss about it, which I feel is really important. Amos is now appealing his conviction, but he is also still posting, blogging, provoking. How long did I work for this? I think it worked like eight days. And ultimately challenging Singapore's civil liberties with a determined resolve well beyond his years. Paula Newton, CNN, Singapore.